That's the trouble with these cameras, they don't like a ruin in the paddock there, it just, yeah, you don't see it, yeah. Up here you, you fish faster than you could ever imagine yourself fishing. Um, it, it draws them, it's a reaction thing. Now, if you got a little diver or something, you'll get that fish. Well, no, he, he had two crack and goes at this. I'll just go one more down there. But he, he only hit the rubber, he didn't get the lure. He's... I was going at that speed though. Here you have a go. Get, you get, yeah, see? So he didn't want to have a go at me. Like he already had that two strike, so he wasn't going to have another go, but as soon as you put something else in, um, they can't help themselves. Nice. So we're on the board. And uh, being such a low barometer, we'll probably catch more fish if we work together like that. If you know what I mean? Yeah, because they come up and they look at the surface lure and they don't commit. That one committed twice and then that was it. But, I mean, it took one wind of the, turn, of the handle and you had him, eh? Yeah. And the little ones school up and the big ones school up. So you tend to, if you find a little one like that, you sort of, I'd say there'll be another one there. But I like to keep moving, looking for those big ones. Oh, well, nice. I'm gonna keep moving up and drop me bag, okay? Mm, see if they're home today. Doesn't look as pussy as before. Come on. There's one. That's a good one. Right. I found a nice one for you, Mark. There he is, just there. Just watch out, Mark. There's a little red bat belly up here. Oh, a little black snake. Can't get rid of him. Go on. He's in the water. Just watch out. He's got no mates close. Oh, there's good bass holes next to this black snake. Go hand in hand. I do a switch, switch, I'm back to the scene of the crime. Oh no. Massive big bird's nest in my... No, it wasn't a massive big bird's nest, it was a little bird's nest. Let's get this one done first. Well, oh, it was good. It unfolded straight away, so... To test this new suffix line. up and down this creek and only had three surface strikes with this. Mark's been hooking some nice fish with divers. See if I can stir him up. Let's try a little crab. 
full moon, low barometer, middle of the day. A few times I can fish this slow. Here is a crab. Here we go. There's no skim there. Just got smashed. Let's try skipping it in for a reaction. Oh, there's a little one. Just shot up at it. Straight out of the log. Okay, we're in business. Just had an eel come out and smack that. Little eel. Oh. I don't know if another guy, but he was there. Just teabagging around stumps. Once a little bass and a little eel come out, both had a whack. Hmm, oh, finally. Started picking a few up with the crab and then I lost it. So, switched to a little power bait paddle tail, which he's taken. Let's put another one on. I put the I put the paddle tail on. It wasn't giving enough vibration, so I put two sinkers on it. Right. Release this guy. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, I have oh, here's my paddle tail. Yeah, just an old bridge from back in the early days. Looks pretty juicy actually. I don't know whether to go back to the surface or... But that could even be a convict built bridge, you know. This is the sort of history they're going to bury, like this was an old bridge. I'm trying to think. Oh yeah. Yeah, think how many floods this has had. Where are we? We're sort of... Yeah. There'd be a fortune in Woody. I don't know whether to cross over. I might cross over. Yeah, I, I just missed setting the hook on two carp. The carp have got active now, so. Oh, I'll come up there. So I think we're in the zone now. Did you get that one? Oh, okay. And what, you missed the. Yeah, yeah, some giants in here. All right, yell out if you get a good one. Dude, these fish are so timid, because that was a cracking bass. He didn't even touch the lure, he just swam out, swam over the top of it. I thought I'd put... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I know, that, that's what I'm saying. I've had two, two carp have a go as well. Like, just couldn't set the hook on them. But, uh, I might go to back to black. I got whacked here. There's definitely one under there. hit wonders, they're just not coming back for a second dig. It's just got to be the barometer. Cool oh, little gecko. I have one of those days with this low barometer of, of honed in on the bite and drawing fish like you wouldn't believe. Just cannot set that hook. 
Now I've had about 10 casts along this edge. Finally drew him, threw back in, dropped him. Oops. He will not draw out, so. I dropped one just over there. This one I've had two goes at. Yep, yep, got him that time. Little one. When the barometer's really low like this, it's just rolling around the stumps is the only way you can really get fish. There was a much nicer one than him in there. There you go, buddy. Struggling with this hookup. Like they're just, they're not even really committing. Most of them are rolling over the lure. I get to see them and then that's it. So I've marked all the good ones and I'll come back another day and get them. This, this is probably the most effective way to catch fish in these conditions because they really don't want to come out. three goes to get one fish but it was probably about 15 casts in and along this area to get one fish out anyway we've got a pattern going now so just got a bit of, get a bit more honing with a hook set that little one just there I've literally just got to here just dropped another one so they're, they're not coming out at all they're just just dropped them in there Yep. Oh. And now, the snag. Look this. The stuff that runs through this creek is so toxic that it breaks down cans. See that? That's nasty, man. That's like acids and stuff. And unfortunately, the poor old fish are copping it from it. It's absolutely like I'm, I'm serious about this. See the cans? See the rockstar? The water that comes down here is that toxic that it's decomposing. That's even plastic. Look. It's all breaking down. That's nasty. It's good, doesn't it? Soccer balls, tennis balls, water bottles. All decomposing in the creek. And the toxins the council puts us down here. Makes it pretty tough to be a bass. <laughs> 